All right, here we are with um, sniper class. Um, <clears> the <throat> main thing about sniper is um, <coughs> this, <coughs> this one is used for um, camp sniping. Is what this class is. Um, sidearm. Um, go with the M9. Um, again, I've been using the um, USP, but I've recently found out that M9 is has more uh, clip capacity. Uh, before I never paid attention to what my pistol was, but um, it does make a difference, so I have changed it. Special grenade. I always have smoke because if you're in a pickle, you can throw smoke up and find yourself another place to hide. Um, perk one. I go with claymore because the claymores are really helpful to um, uh, secure your perimeter. Mind you, other people might say bandolier is also useful depending on how much uh, uh, shooting you do before you die. Also C4s might be good depending on your position um, and the map and stuff. Usually before a map, um, I'll know what classes I use most on it and I'll change um, any perks if I need to. Anyways, um, I suggest going with the Claymores. Um, for sniping, I love to use a UAV Jammer. It's probably one of the, um, uh, saved me so many times where I've um, hit, if I've sniped somebody once or twice and then they know I'm somewhere up on the hill and the UAV, UAV is up, but nobody can find me and I'm um, running around and hiding. You can't put a silencer on the weapon, so no matter um, if, even if you're um, playing a regular match, uh, people can uh, find you um, uh, with or without the, uh, if you just fire off your weapon. So UAV, UAV jammer is a must. Um, mind you, you could possibly give yourself overkill, but um, I usually don't like to do that on a um, when when you're you know camp sniping. Um, something that could be helpful is stopping power if you're doing a regular match, but we're talking hardcore here. Um, sleight of hand uh, could possibly be an idea, but not really when you're sniping. You usually have tons of time between shots to uh, um, reload because when you're sniping, you usually want to use a one-shot, one-kill um, philosophy. And by using a bolt action, um, it trains me, my, it trains you and it will train you, anybody to... Uh, really get used to making that one shot count because the time it takes to ready the next shot they might have already run inside a building or something so anyways UAG, UAV is usually the choice for me um, down here um, dead silence um, when you're camping you're not moving around so really dead silence is um, not um, not needed for sniping um, iron lungs or deep impact is really what you're gonna go for Iron lungs, if you know it's going to take a bit longer to line up your shots, you definitely should use iron lungs. Whereas deep impact, if you know you're good with the sniper and you can uh, fall onto your target and take the shot quicker, um, you might want to go with deep impact just in case you know you might be shooting through walls or something. Um, <clears throat> not much to say other than which sniper rifles to use. Um, when I'm camping, I will either use the M40 or the R700. Um, the difference between the two is our um, our 700 does have more damage, um, mind you. The range, um, it actually the the range is full on both of them. The accuracy, however, on the R700 is a bit less than it is on the M40, and my accuracy is a little bit bad, so I tend to go with the M40. Mind you, if you are really good with accuracy, then you might want to go with the R700 because it does have a bit more damage. Um, the uh, the automatic um, sniper rifles, uh, Dragunov and the M21, they only differ with Dragunov being, having more damage. Mind you, the Dragunov does have a bigger recoil, and I believe um, whenever you see damage being higher, the recoil will be bigger, and um, that's generally the case, so the R700 will have a bigger recoil over the M40. Mind you, with a single shot, the recoil is not a big deal, so um, I usually like to keep um, the bolt actions um, for the camping and the semi-automatics for um, mobile sniping, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so I generally go with the M40, um, never ACOG because we are um, camping and it's usually long distance. Um, 
really with the camo, I highly, I, I mean, people will say, um, I mean, camo's not the hugest deal, but sometimes I think, well, I'm going to be hiding in grass, I'll use the woodland, or I'll use the digital, I never use desert, um, I'm going to go with uh, woodland right now, just because, anyways, um, looks like I have enough time to talk about mobile, um, mobile sniping, um, I don't know why this is on, um, generally go with either the M21 or the Dragon Off. I like to go with the M21, and because I'm moving around a lot, <coughs> I'll probably be more in buildings and stuff, so you should put the digital on. Um, with the mobile, I like to um, uh, realize that there's um, less chance for being stealthy with it. Um, you can use the same idea of UAV jammer, um, but I also um, have the choice of using overkill, and I usually use it because when you're running around, you might want to have another gun um, to help yourself move from one sniping position to the next, um, usually with a secondary weapon, um, be just because of the fact that um, you don't have that, uh, the sniper will make a lot of noise. You might want, I, I tend to use red dots on my things, but uh, my guns, but sometimes you can use a... Uh, um, you can use the silencer. I tend to go with a um, gun that I'll usually use on my rush class, so M4 or the AK-47, um, rather than something that I use for the stealth class because um, I usually find myself running from one sniping position to the next rather than uh, slowly making my way from one end to the other trying to be sneaky. Um, that depends on what you usually do when you um, um, when you use your mobile. You usually um, fuse it with... Uh, either your your rush class or your stealth class um, depending on how you usually transition between the two so it takes a little bit of time to know what your game is you can't just say well this is what I think my game is because you know just try them out um, with the mobile I can't I I don't know I have I have trouble deciding what I want to do because if I'm moving around setting up claymores on my um, in my positions means that um, <clears throat> When I move, somebody's going to um, probably be um, less likely to trip on them because if it's been a while since I've been in that position, people trying to get at me um, won't be going through the old positions as much. Whereas if I use C4, um, I, can um, I can throw a packet uh, somewhere where somebody might be running by, and usually I can look at it from multiple uh, s sniping points and still say, okay, someone's there, detonate it. Um, <coughs> I also really suggest the special grenades for the mobile uh, sniping because um, it helps you transition from one area to the next. Um, generally with this class, um, I, I, uh, I don't stay alive too, too much, so bandolier isn't really an option, but this again is based on your uh, style of gameplay. Um, perk 3, simple, I like to use the deep impact over the iron lungs because if I'm running around it also helps me use the uh, um, helps me use the M4 just in case there's somebody inside a building um, helps with sniping you could also use extreme conditioning if that's how you want to move around but again it's a little bit of a feel thing I'll usually go with the extreme conditioning or the deep impact for this part again martyrdom I uh, never ever use it in um, in a stealth game and hardcore games just because of the kind of effect it uses and at the same point in time um, steady aim uh, I don't suggest using it on the mobile class because you want to use something that will usually that will help with both your sniping and uh, moving between your parts and the final thing I'm going to talk about is uh, testing classes and that will be in my next video